the Nissan GTR. 485 horsepower, six-speed dual clutch transmission and all-wheel drive. It will pull 1G laterally and hit 60 miles per hour in just 3.3 seconds. The GTR runs the quarter mile in 11.9 seconds at 120.1 miles per hour on the way to a top speed of 193 miles per hour. To get around the Nürburgring Nordschleife, it needs just 7 minutes 28 seconds. So, is there anything the GTR can't do? Drift. That's right. The GTR isn't made to drift. At least, not as good as these two cars. We're down here at El Toro for a very special event. Scion has invited us to check out their drift team which is composed of the Scion Racing RSR Drift TC and the Rockstar Scion Drift TC. Now both of these are purpose-built, high-performance drift cars that compete in the very competitive Formula D series. And before we agreed to come down, we had two stipulations. One, we'd have to be able to test the cars, and two, we wanted to bring our own high-performance machine, the GTR. So let's see how they run. First up, acceleration. Ken Gushi's car features a 2.2 liter turbocharged four cylinder, putting out 450 horsepower and 350 pound feet of torque. Zero to 60 is reached in just five seconds flat. His quarter mile time, 12.5 seconds at 128.8 miles per hour. Next up, Tanner Faust's Rockstar TC. His car features a Toyota TRD NASCAR motor laying down 650 horsepower and 500 pound-feet of torque. Zero to 60 is reached in the blazing 3.8 seconds. And the quarter mile comes up in just 11.3 seconds at 135.6 miles per hour. Next up, 60 to zero braking. Gucci's car comes to a stop from 60 miles an hour in 160 feet. Faust manages to stop shorter, sliding to a stop in just 114 feet. Up last, Motor Trend's unique figure eight test. Gushi takes a more conservative approach around the course, keeping his back end in check. He records a time of 26.2 seconds at 0.72 G average. Faust, on the other hand, takes the smoky approach, letting the tail hang out. His time, 25.4 seconds at 0.8 G average. So those are the numbers. But the truth is, these cars aren't about the numbers. Neither of them even has a speedometer. What these cars are about is sliding, slip angle, and tons of tire smoke. So let's see how they get down to business against our GTR. <laughs> the pavement or shredding it. Machines like these are what we live for. 
The numbers, they're important, but not nearly as much as the incredible sensation you get behind the wheel of a true, purpose-built machine.